All right, this is Sarah, and I am Richard, founder and and uh, keeper of ArtSmart Challenge, and this is Sarah. And Sarah is our 2012 ArtSmart Challenge winner. And uh, congratulations. <laughs> and uh, we're here just uh, chatting about her artwork and kind of what it meant. And Sarah, this is uh, your work for, for that. Can you tell us a little bit about well, the what this means and how how you came how it came to be well my teacher mrs bartlett uh she told us that you wanted something that was a significant and something with a meaning behind it and so after like a few days of thinking like what uh is important to me in my life i thought my mom uh-huh like she's 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 one of the most important important people in my life to me and uh -huh. so i thought of doing uh stained glass art of me and my mom together uh-huh okay cool so, yeah cool. And so when you did that, um, of course, your, your, your favorite color is pink, and mom is probably more mature, being more <laughs> of a gray color. Yeah. Right? Okay. Cool. And um, what, is, what does the sun mean to you? How did the... Does that, is that kind of a bright... Uh, it could have been a lot of other things, like a moon. Yeah. But did the sun... How did that get to be what it was did it just feel good just to just to draw that and well i think like it the sun made it all come together and also like my mom and i love to be out outside and so uh, uh -huh. that's why is it, that's why the background is outdoors uh-huh because okay. he would like good. to be outside so yeah a lot. Great. <laughs> great yeah and so what do you guys do when you're outside what's your favorite things to do well, there's a variety of things. Like we um, sometimes we go on walks during the night, you know, because it, it's like uh -huh. nice and cool. And then uh, we just sit down, relax, and I sometimes draw. Uh -huh. And then she just sits down, relax, and maybe you turn on some music or, or I help her clean out the car outside, which is what, which is uh -huh. what I do a lot with her. So yeah, <laughs> just like okay. lots of different things outside. Yeah, that's cool. And so does m music put you in kind of a creative mood? Do you like yeah, to draw definitely. with music behind it? Okay. Definitely. Yeah, okay. And when you draw, do you do you have a favorite place that you like to, that you kind of like to just let your mind go freely and? Well, I really like drawing on my hammock outside uh -huh. in my okay. backyard. It just relaxes me and plus I'm outside and I like drawing trees and nature. Uh -huh. stuff and also another place I like is like at my school like um, I've been doing art there since I was in third grade uh -huh. and then I started taking you know pr uh, art classes like actual art classes in uh -huh. seventh grade and um, she always puts like um, music on to, to, to go with like the art period like this was in like 1937 or something like that is when mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. uh, and I think I'm not sure uh -huh. yeah. but uh Okay. And she puts that uh, that kind of music on, and it just relaxes me, and I love my friends and all that, and so. Uh huh. Yeah. Now you know. this is your teacher. Yes. And your teacher's name is. Mrs. Bartlett. Mrs. Bartlett at what school? Mango Valley Christian School. Mango Valley Christian, you got a winner here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, is your art teacher very supportive of uh, yeah. everybody doing artwork? And yeah, she's really nice. I mean, she helps out and gives us ideas and helps us come up with you know what we create. Uh huh. Okay. And does she give the whole class or does she work with all the individuals to kind of help them express themselves in that well, way? Well, before we start our project, she talks to us about like what, um, and what needs to be done, like how we should, you know, incorporate our thoughts into our uh, artwork. And then like if we, if we ask her for help, she's um, always happy to help us uh -huh. in figuring what to do next or how to improve this or uh -huh. things like that. Yeah, well that's great, great. So, are you a happy girl that you got, got, have you won before? I've never won anything in my uh, whole life. Uh, really? <laughs> well, <Yeah>. congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's, uh, this'll, this'll be great. So we'll be doing a lot of different things and, uh, and, uh, has ha art helped you in school? Does it make your grades better? Are you a happier person because you do art? Yeah, I like art a lot. Yeah. Like, um, we had... We, we could choose between choir or art and I immediately choose art because I just like it. It uh -huh. just relaxes me and it's just, it just feels good to, do, to yeah. draw. 
Yeah, and do your friends yeah. draw with you, or mm -hmm. do you have friends that you guys just sit down and get out your sketchbooks and and draw? Well, not on an everyday basis, because like with the homework we have, <laughs> uh -huh. you know, it's kind of hard to have a lot of free time. But um, we so occasionally uh, our teacher lets us go outside and let us draw whatever we want in any like medium uh -huh. we want. So mm -hmm. that's always a good thing, you know, get to you know draw freely. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, that'll be great. And so you're in 11th grade now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are you thinking about in your future of how uh, art? is going to be in your future and maybe a vocation or what you do or well I haven't really work? incorporated art into my future really because like um, ever since I was five years old I want to be a pedi pediatrician uh -huh. and so I don't <laughs> I haven't really incorporated art into my future but I, I always will draw uh -huh. I always will right right yeah. yeah cool very good as a hobby definitely uh huh. Right. Especially if when you talk about the relaxation periods, yeah. you know, and and uh, being able to to do that. So, I think you've done a a very uh, very good job here. Um, what I see as I interpret this is, uh, and what I like about this drawing is she has a a central focus of the subject matter in the center and it is uh, brought together by a circle and this circle helps solidify and focus into the subject which is uh, the mother-daughter relationship. The sun is uh, a bright and cheery and brought a certain amount of happiness to the to the drawing uh, and uh, the background with the with the uh, tree and the leaves uh, reminded me as a judge as to the tree of life and the happiness and uh, friendships and all that type of thing with uh, that makes it very uh, uh, meaningful in, in, in my opinion so um, I thought this was a, a, a very good uh, piece it had good art characteristics we had cold warm uh, color contrast uh, kind of day night and day with this uh, the blue background and then the yellow uh, and it was a cheery uh, very uh, solemn very nice piece so um, we're very glad to have it as our as our uh, grand prize winner. Uh, we will be making one of these for Sarah and then we will make, be making another copy of uh, the artwork stained glass made into stained glass as an archived piece and uh, we will have some of these pieces like this for sale. So if you would like a, to purchase one of these you the purchase price one will Sarah will get a certain amount of that you will be support, supporting Art Smart Challenge as well so um, we'll be very happy to make one of these for you any size uh, that you want thank you very much and again congratulations thank young you. lady and uh, and by the way we're going to be following all this and making a video of of how this stained glass window was made. So uh, we'll be looking forward to that. So for Art Smart Challenge, this is Richard and Sarah signing off. Come see us.